What's up everybody? We are headed up Viejas Mountain, W6CC039. Got, to, oh, well you can't see it, probably a mile to go or so. And today I've got three element six meter beam in the pack. Why? Well, there's been some openings on six meter FT8 down to VK and ZL recently. And while I know the chance is slim, I gotta give it a try. So let's get up there, see what happens. All right, made it. Summit of Viejas Mountain, W6CC039. Very nice day, wow. So, whoo -wee. So that's El Cajon Mountain. Woodson's behind it. Home QTH is just right down there. You got Queen Maca Peak over here. And what else can you see? Well, you can actually see Mount San Jacinto and Baldy off in the distance, but maybe not with the GoPro. Pretty cool. Well, I think I'm gonna go find a spot to get set up here. Basically, I want something where the terrain slopes away pretty good to the southwest. That's gonna give me my best chance for ZL and VK. All right, we're gonna try a little two meters first. Found a spot here a little off the summit. Oh, somebody's running some digital on 5T. Station calling again, again, Kilo 6 Alpha Romeo Kilo. Summit to summit, go ahead. Hey John, Kilo 6, Mike X-Ray Alpha, Kilo 6 Alpha, Romeo Kilo. You're about a 4-3, 43, 43 on Viejas Mountain, Charlie Charlie 039, QSL. QSL, very cool. Uh, thanks for the complete on that one. That's a neat summit out there. Anyone else uh, would like to make a contact today? K6ARK. Oh, you'll, I'll be having a ton of fun if six meters opens up. <laughs> Well, that wasn't too bad. Pretty busy morning or uh, afternoon, I guess, on two meters. Picked up a bunch of stations in the log there and uh, gonna go ahead and get the six meter beam set up. So being the genius that I am, I built this six meter beam right at the end of summer, like September time frame, pretty much when six meters just goes dead. <laughs> There's no six meter propagation. So I have been waiting to use this thing since then. Um, so this is the boom and the rotator. The rotator is a geared motor built into this PVC hub here. And the boom just folds out flat like that. Um, and the elements are uh, arrow shafts. Multiple pieces of arrow shafts here that screw onto these threaded rods. And Here's my feed here, it's a 50 ohm design, so I don't need any kind of matching network. And, uh, and then I set it up, of course, on uh, my pool cleaning pole here. So, um, so I think I'm gonna set up the pool cleaning pole first, get that uh, stood up, and then go from there.
So we're getting started here. I got the FT-857 set up for FT-8 and uh, running on a Windows tablet here, a little HP Windows tablet that I'm sure you can't see. I'm trying to record the screen, so hopefully that'll work. Uh, the antenna's up. Six meter three element beam pointing kind of east northeast and uh, putting out some CQs, so we shall see. All right, hearing a little bit of action in there. Gotta figure out we can reach them here. Okay. N6WT. Very cool. Ah, yeah, it's working. Sweet. Got him. N6WT. Yes. <laughs> Still trying to get K6 CPR to call me back. Not sure he's hearing me. So I've got W6LUX calling as well. Let's give him a shot. Got people calling me. <laughs> this thing's working. Can you believe it? <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's see if we can get W6 MDA. Got K6 CPR in the log. <laughs> Very nice. All right, I am not hearing anything on six meter FT8 at this point. So I think I'm gonna shut this down for now, set up the dipole and run some HF. So just the band is just not in good condition today. I'm gonna leave the antenna up just in case things change. But uh, before that, uh, I wanna give you a quick station tour here. So got the Yaesu FT857. Uh, this thing is running off the BioNO 12 amp hour battery pack and my link here to the computer is a Wolfie link. These things I'll link in the description below. They're pretty dang cool, super lightweight, very simple little uh, digital Vox, uh, Vox circuit for digital. And then I've got a little HP 8 inch uh, Windows 10 tablet. Um, these things are about 80 bucks on eBay. Not the fastest machines in the world, but they work well enough for this purpose and uh, perfect for a portable FT8 rig. And then, of course, the antenna. Six meter, three element, 50 ohm design, uh, arrow shaft elements and C-channel aluminum folding boom with a geared 12 volt motor as a rotator. And uh, pull cleaning pull's got it, oh, maybe, uh, I don't know, 12 feet in the air or so. so. Not bad, just anchored down here and uh, it's getting the job done. So, wish the band was in better condition, but it's not. So, you know, we'll take what we can get. All right, well, that was pretty fun. Um, although we didn't have the success, I was crossing my fingers and toes and hoping for with six meters reaching down to VK or ZL or somewhere. Uh, far off in the distance um, Six meters just didn't cooperate today and sometimes that's how it goes. It's it's called the magic band for a reason and Today the magic did not happen made a bunch of fun local contacts. That was pretty cool um, Had a little bit of propagation on six getting out, but not much But what I did show and confirm today is that I can run FT8 in the field effectively now with this little 8 inch HP tablet the Wolfie link adapter for the radio and the Yaesu FT857, my main 100 watt field radio. 
and it performs really well. I had a full-on pileup of Japanese stations there just <laughs> calling me. I called CQ a few times and then the floodgates opened and uh, they just started hammering me and it was uh, it was pretty cool. So um, I even got uh, even got Hayden VK7HH on FT8 17 meters and pretty good signal reports. So Hayden, your uh, I'd say your DX commander is working, man. That's uh, pretty freaking cool. Well, what do you say we break this station down and start heading down the hill? Sun's getting low to the horizon. I've got probably 45 minutes of sunlight left and then some twilight. I've got a headlamp in the pack, so I'm not worried about it, but uh, I think I'm gonna get packed up and start heading down the hill. All right, I'm packed up and headed down. The sun just went down, it was a beautiful sunset. And all in all, although I didn't even remotely achieve what uh, my stretch goal was, um, still had a blast. And I confirmed that my new setup for working FT8 in the field actually works quite well. Definitely want to get that six meter beam out again when conditions are better because it seems to perform pretty darn good for what it is. Um, I could n see significant differences in signal strength just by rotating the beam. Like, you know, probably 15 dB range, significant, you know, going from, from low weak signal to uh, full 5.9 plus on some of them. So um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to use that coming up. You'll see more of that thing in the future, I'm sure. But at any rate, Thanks for coming along on the adventure today. Uh, perhaps you learned something new about how you can work FT8 or other digital modes in the field and take and apply those strategies on your own adventures. So 7.3 for now. Thanks for coming along for the ride today. Maybe next time we'll have some better six meter propagation.